at first you both seem pretty cordial to each yep, other. Yep. Um, fast forward a few weeks, he's calling you the head clown. Yes. Uh, he, you're chanting, dump Trump at yep. rallies. <laughs> Clearly you're not working together anymore. So what do you mean by dump Trump? Well, we have to stop him when, look, here's what I believe. You're, you should always be guided by your values. That's my internal gyroscope. The higher up you go in politics and in anything else in life, mm -hmm. the more fierce the winds blow. So if you have your own beliefs, your own values, and stick with them, you'll stay on course. Mm -hmm. So when tr Trump calling me names doesn't affect me, Trump f trying to flatter me, which he did, doesn't affect me, if he sticks with the right values, I won't oppose things just because the name Trump is on it. Mm -hmm. But when he's against our values and American values, I'll fight him tooth and nail. And that's my he's guide, right. not what Trump says or doesn't say. Right. right. Senator, let, yeah. let's get to this other personality issue with him because Al Franken, Senator Al Franken, last week said, and I quote him, a few Republican senators think President Trump may have mental health issues. Now, I hate to brag, but I said that months ago. <laughs> <laughs> and I got, I got a lot of flack from Bill O'Reilly saying I was oh. being disrespectful, but now everybody's wondering about it. Do you share his concerns? Let's, let me put it like this. When you talk to Republicans quietly, you know, in the cloakroom, in the gym, <laughs> They are having real problems with him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, very few, John McCain to his credit, but very few have had the courage to oppose him, even though they know he's doing a lot of things that are against what America is all about. What are they Whether you're of? Well, they're party loyalists. He's mm -hmm. given them a Supreme Court nominee that they want. Mm -hmm. But my prediction is he keeps up on this path, which is likely. I don't think he'll change. Mm -hmm. uh, within three, four months, you're going to see a whole lot of Republicans breaking I, with him. I hope so. And that's the I salvage agree. of America. I hope so. That is the hope of America. This, just, uh, this, this, I, I think very few people would do any more than catch at him if he were to do it the right way. Right. Do you know what I mean? You, if you do things the right way, right. then we can have a dialogue and disagree right. as we do. But, but the minute you veer off into right. some insane place, when you put people in charge who truly don't know what they're doing, I have questions to the Republicans. Why would you allow? Why would you allow all of this? So is, it, is the Republican happier because he's got a, a Supreme Court nominee? Is that more important than what the Constitution well, stands for? You're right, Whoopi. I was so disappointed. So many of the, the cabinet was the worst cabinet I've ever seen in the history of America. Wow. First, Donald Trump, yeah, Donald, Donald Trump campaigned on cleaning up Wall Street and getting the special interest in swamp out of the cabinet. Yeah. Yeah. We call his cabinet the swamp cabinet, billionaires and bankers. Right. Mm -hmm. Totally against what he campaigned on. Some of these people, Donald Trump got up and said, I am not going to cut Social Security, Medicare or Medicaid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two of his top cabinet nominees have made their career of cutting Medicare, Medicaid, and one of them Social Security. So he's totally deviating from what he said. I told him this. I said, you know, you campaigned, and just what you said, Whoopi, in a different way. You campaigned as a populist against both the Democratic and Republican establishments. Mm -hmm. And if you continue to do that, you'll have some successes. Mm -hmm. But if you do what you've been doing, just move to the hard, hard right, mm -hmm. way beyond what That's most Republicans right. are for, mm -hmm. you're going to be a failure. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what's going to happen. Bannon, but he's listening to Bannon. He's, that's look, the problem. He, I think that he thinks he did it his way and he won and he's not going to change very soon. Right. But I do think and hope and pray that a lot of the Republicans, they're mainstream people, I don't agree with them on the issues, but they're good people, mm -hmm. that they will feel they have no choice but to but break with them. I agree with you. What John McCain said is so real yeah. Yeah, that, you know, the press has always been a counter to people in power. Yes. What Donald Trump, none of us, every one of us gets criticized with the press, by the press. We don't like it, but <laughs> it makes, probably keeps us better. Yeah. Yes. yes. And when he totally, totally just demeans them to, and, and, and when he's wrong and then calls them fake news, yeah. Yeah. that's trouble for the democracy. Yes, yeah, Senator, yeah, sure there have been, many people are concerned about recent Jedidiah, allegations. Been waiting to You've been it. waiting to say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> many people are concerned about these recent allegations that the White House potentially has ties to Russia. And there have been reports that there may have been communication between the Trump campaign and Russian officials all throughout the election. Yes. What, what is going to happen here? Can you 
reassure people? Will, there, will they get to the bottom line of this? And what do you expect? How is this going to play out? Well, first, one thing we know for sure, every intelligence agency who's looked at this, all the law enforcement, that Russia tried to influence the election. Mm -hmm. That alone is a terrible thing. We have not had that. In that constitution, mm -hmm. they talk about something called the emoluments clause, yeah. which means right. you shouldn't, a president should not get any benefit from a foreign country because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. they were worried about foreign countries having yes. undue influence. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that means he should publish his tax returns. That means he should divest of all his holdings so he doesn't benefit. Okay. But was there. <laughs> so. Russia tried to influence. Was there, uh, did Trump participate in that and help? Yeah. If he did, that's really serious. So there is, right now, there's an investigation going on okay. by the FBI. And what I have called for today, actually, in an uh, article in the Washington Post, I am worried that Jeff Sessions, mm -hmm. the uh, attorney general, is so close to Trump mm -hmm. in so many ways that that investigation certainly won't have the appearance of impartiality mm -hmm. and may not be impartial yeah. itself. So I've called today on Jed Sessions to recuse himself. And if you agree with that, yes. TV audience, <laughs> tell your senator or congressman to do it. Right. Can I just say that Republicans... Yeah. Republicans should back you up on that because as we know, many Republicans called for a special prosecutor when it came to Hillary Clinton and her exactly. potential email scandal and Benghazi and, and all those Obama, things for, for, for the right reasons. Right. So do you have Republican support on that? What does that feel like Not behind yet, the scenes? but hopefully well, we'll you get should. some. I'm we just, we just started should. today. But if people, you know, it works. These ideas of people going to town hall meetings and telling their Republican uh, senators and congressmen they should change works. Yes. Writing, calling, emailing, okay. tweeting let, works. Let me Please ask you, do it. About right. his taxes, just before we go to break, I have yes. to know this because um, there's a law, a 1924 yes. law, that gives a certain con congressional committees the power to subpoena yep. tax returns. The chairman of the Ways and, and Means Committee, his name is Kevin Brady, yep. he can request them. Right. He's shooting that law down, citing privacy concerns. Now, isn't the... That's um, That's it is. Bunk? That's okay. bunk. There That's is no... It's a law, for. and he can ask, so can Orrin Hatch, who's the head of the Finance Committee, and Ron Wyden, who's the... Yeah. from Oregon, who's the Democratic ranking member, has asked Orrin Hatch to use this law. We're going to push hard for this law. The president has no excuse not to make all his tax returns public. Yes. That's an obligation of every yeah. president.